the big one. Iwa. There are people in the gun trade who spend all year planning for it. It's where the world's shooting industry comes together. Not as flash as the SHOT Show, not as posh as the CLA Game Fair. It is Cape Canaveral for European gun scope and ammunition manufacturers. A launch platform for kit. Until this year, what Iwa has missed is a way to try out that kit. Happily, Swiss-German ammunition giant Ruag has its world headquarters in a suburb of Nuremberg. So we go out there to try out some stuff. Thanks to a kind invitation from Zeiss Sports Optics, Ruag and gunmaker Zara. Let's start with what Ruag has on offer and its ammunition is designed, well, not for bunny hugging exactly, but certainly for bunny huggers. So you are very proud of this block, is that right? Yes, absolutely. Why? This shows the performance of our new Evolution Green Bullet. Yes. Um, it's been shot at like 200 meters. That's a distance where most lead-free bullets show very, very poor performance. They're not fragmenting, they're not doing what they're supposed to do anymore, they're not killing. You have to search the animals forever, and they're running very far. So this is a, not a gel block, this is a roe deer, is that right? I see a roe deer in that. Ruag hasn't given up on lead, not a bit of it. Its air gun pellets are still full of the stuff, but with some unusual additions. You've got a rattly tin uh, and a non rattly tin here. Yeah, I have here, we, we made it on, the, on 10 meters, we made a test shooting, and it was that the power ball is getting through to both pins. Yep. The steel ball on it makes the deep penetration and the high impact in the target. We have to speak to our hosts from Carl Zeiss too. It launched its Victory HT range of scopes and binoculars last year, made of glass from one of its sister companies, Shot Glass, that is simply ahead of its time. With a scope you cannot miss. <laughs> this is our long range shooting scope, the 4 to 16 by 50, and it has a parallax adjustment as well as a target turret. It's um, sighted in on 500 meter, or to be very precise, 485 meter. And we are using a Sauer 202 together with a, with a new caliber. It's a 6XC. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very accurate, fast bullet. You can use for hunting, especially on predators, but it's also very good for target shooting. Back at the show itself, in a giant echoey exhibition hall on the other side of Nuremberg, and 2013 is the year of the rifle. Let's start with one of the big stars who is in charge of one of the big launches. Max, as far as we can see from the film, that is the ideal hunt in New Zealand, isn't it? It was, it was perfect. Was it really like that? Actually it was, because uh, as you can see as well, in the beginning we had good weather and the bad weather came in. We would have loved to have good weather in all the scenes, but actually that was how it was. And it was a hunt. An animal was hunted, uh, and you got to use as our 101. So, what was that like? For, for me, it was a great pleasure. When when I grew up, my daddy he he, he was a, a big hunter as well, and I learned from him. And he had the old sour. So, for me, getting asked by sour to bring their rifle out and test it in the field before it was released here at the Eva was a big thing for me, and I was proud about it. Now, did they really send out a helicopter all the way to New Zealand with this bizarre helicopter? I, I put all the stickers on actually. <laughs> I brought the stickers. I had to go to an airport at home and, and, and get the measurement of the stickers. I got them made and I had to go there and put the stickers on. Actually it was quite difficult because it was freezing and couldn't put them on, they fell off again. So we have a lot of nice footage of that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the Zawa boss to go through the technical details. Uh, you're the boss of Zawa, so I expect you to be nice about the Zawa 101. What, what does it do that other rifles don't do? Well, the first thing was its safety, its ergonomics, its accuracy, and that you can experience everything. So, for example, what you have, it's a direct firing pin safety. Well, and you know, actually, you can have levers that don't allow you to be very ergonomic, fast and silent. Now, what you have here, it's just that lever. And this is all you do. You mount the gun and you go that way. We have a direct lockup inside the barrel with six massive locks. So we talk passive safety. Detachable magazine, five rounds in standard, four rounds in magnum, and a patent padding system, which simply means even if the gun is in, let's say, the highlands, a lot of rain and a lot of stalking, a lot of creeping around and stuff, if it's getting really wet and the stock would bend a bit, it doesn't affect the gun at all. It'll group, it'll be dead on zero, so you can be successful even in the worst conditions. Before we leave the Sauer stand, Matthias shows us just how confident he is about the strength and design of this rifle by standing 
on the magazine. Don't care too much what material is. Make sure you get the best in the rifle that you can put in there. And this is what we did. Zara is always up for a laugh. And a feature of Iwa is its latest crazy idea for a souped up gun. Last year, they gave us the Gladiator with real gladiators. This year, it's a case of that's not a gun. This is a gun. Daniel, you have traveled many thousands of miles and you have got 24 hours. <laughs> Have you got the rifle you wanted? Oh, I did get the rifle I wanted, it's exactly how we wanted it. The timber work is magnificent, so is the engraving. And Actually, I really like the 3D effect that goes through it. It's absolutely magnificent. What I, what I really do like, though, is the uh, crocodile taking down the buffalo. <laughs> that is really good. That's really good. Dominic, is this really a usable rifle? Yeah, it is. It is a full hunting rifle. It's a calibre 375. It's a big game calibre. It's completely for hunting. It, completely. Uh, are you going to use it? Yes. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm going to use it on a buffalo, not on a croc, because it's illegal. It's illegal to shoot crocs. Can't yeah. shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> Another rifle that's making a big splash is the latest version of the Blaza R8, the professional success, and it comes with another superb promotional film. Well, where all for that? Basically, it's a rifle that's, uh, as you've seen, used up in, in the mountains for, for hunting. Um, it's come from sporting scene. Um, Thumbhole stocks are not, not anything new as such, it's, uh, they've been around for a while, but they've not really been introduced into the hunting as such. Um, you have many features on the success stock in the fact that your thumb comes around completely into the, into the grip. Your thumb is inside the stock, which allows my finger to be completely around the trigger unit. That means I alleviate problems of flinching, which is quite often a problem when uh, shooting under pressure in the mountains, as you see in that video, and that was actually a, uh, an injured stag. Uh, the guy didn't have much time to uh, take that shot. It was over a long distance. And having a success stock like this, it just alleviates a lot of those faults that could happen. So Zawa uses a celebrity and a great location for its film. Blaza uses a great location. And Belgian gun giant Browning's Rimfire offer comes with endorsement from a London 2012 Olympic shooting medalist. And it's not Pete Wilson. We have uh, Lionel Cox who, uh, who shoot a rifle at the latest Olympic. He won the silver, silver medal. Uh, and he's now our ambassador for the, for the brand, for the Browning uh, products, uh, using and shooting our products, especially the T-Bolt. So he's uh, basically shooting the T-Bolt with all the different uh, cartridges, whether it's uh, standard velocity, subsonic and so on, and uh, giving his uh, credit and uh, ability and capacity about Browning uh, accuracy, precision and, uh, and performance. Iwa is not just for the big guys. The little companies get a look in too. Here's a Field Sports Channel viewer, Eric van der Horst, who has come up with an idea for a high seat and wants to see what the gun trade thinks. I found in the market many, many portable and collapsible high seats, but they're very big. I wanted to make something for people with a smaller car. Um, it's not for the small budget, unfortunately, so we're trying to make it cheaper. But the main thing is that we want something that is easy to carry. This one is quite small, you can put it on your back and you can shoot from a higher level, which also makes it more uh, safe. Now, can you buy it in the shops yet? No, it's completely new. Actually, this, <laughs> this is two weeks old. No. So this is what's annoying about Ewa. You see all this wonderful kit, but nobody can actually go and buy it yet. But you hope by the end of Ewa... Well, let me put this way. I promise, if Fieldsforce people are interested, I'll make sure they can buy it. Ewa is also known for the quirky. British company Webley & Scott is celebrating its nearly 200-year gun-making heritage with a newly built cannon. It's a scaled-down version of a British 12-pound field gun. It's been specially commissioned, but are available for sale for anyone that wants one uh, with the shotgun license. But each one is individually made. The wheels in particular are made by the Queen's Wheelwrights and every gun is proofed in Birmingham. And Webley's distributor, Highland Outdoors, also has something a little more modern. It's a bit of a romp, this gun show thing, but most of the kit is there for us to try and for you to buy as long as it captures your imagination. Some of it, however, just for us to try.